Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and I am here at work, <clears throat> and I'm glad I'm here because I got a package in today here from one of the auction houses on a couple of items that I won, and I'm really excited about them because they are items that are kind of near and dear to me and the, kind of the core of what I really love to collect, which is uh, Hall of Fame stuff. If you've heard of a guy named Dick Perez before, he is an artist. He did all of the Diamond Kings back in the 80s. Uh, he did all the Perez Steel uh, postcards for Hall of Fame. So he just has been involved in baseball and does stuff for teams and all sorts of amazing artwork that he does for baseball. And it's just incredible stuff. Uh, if you've heard of a channel called Jason Aaron Goldberg, he does a lot of artist kind of tributes or whatever. And he's got some cards of Dick Perez that are signed. I've got a Dick Perez auto on the way, knowing that I won these items to show off and they're, they're not, I have a ton of the Perez Steel postcards signed and all that. They're not really that, they're, they're just kind of things that D Dick Perez uh, was involved in that I'm gonna show that are has a ton of signatures in it. And I think this actually with all of the Hall of Fame autographs puts me in my quest for 2000 Hall of Fame autographs. I think I needed 50 something and I think I went over today. <laughs> so, there's, these are just really cool pieces. I'm excited to show you. And if you're not taking advantage of different auction houses that are available and out there, if you have questions, ask me because I think you can get really good deals on mid to high end stuff. To put it this way, these items that I got, I think there's a total of 55 signatures, uh, something like that maybe between them. There's two items that I'm gonna show. Between them, 50 something signatures, I paid less than $15 per autograph. And for some of the autographs you're gonna see, that's a really good deal. So hang on, we'll get right to it. I'll show you guys what I got. So hold on one second. All right, so here we go. Here's the first piece. And this is called Dick Perez Baseball Masterpieces. And it says the kind of blurb about it is in partnership with the Baseball Hall of Fame, Dick Perez, longtime Hall of Fame official artist, enjoyed a solo retrospective exhibition at the Bianco Gallery in La Hasca, PA, Pennsylvania. Offered here is a rare surviving signed program from the gallery show, measuring 12 by 12, so it's pretty big. It's a foot by a foot. Uh, it's a near mint by itself, and it's got uh, with an average of 10, meaning uh, graded 10 signatures. And I'll show you what's inside of it. It's got an envelope that it came in. It comes with a full letter uh, letter of uh, authenticity from JSA. And so I'm going to do this one page at a time. I'm going to pause. You know, it'll be little clips of each page, so you're not watching me turn the pages. So here we go. So as I open it up in the front cover, it talks about this gallery in Pennsylvania. It's got a kind of covered letter from Edward Stack, who was the Hall of Fame president back then. And this, this was in 1990, so this piece is almost 30 years old. Um, so here we go, next page. I guess maybe I can just turn them and watch me turn them. So over here is a picture of Dick Perez in his studio. And it talks about him and his life, what he did. He's from Puerto Rico. So obviously influenced by guys like Norman Rockwell, just amazing. Continuing on, this isn't very long. This one's not very long. So then it goes through some of the different projects that he did. This was Great Moments, which are some very cool, uh, I don't know, postcards, I guess. They're larger than postcards and they're numbered to 5,000. They're emulating the style of turkey reds. And you can see a lot of these, the point is these is they're signed. So you got Ray Dandridge down at the bottom. I don't know if this is gonna do it justice, but I'm gonna try to block some of the light so you can really get, look how blue that signature is. It looked purple earlier, but these are all incredibly sharp. And so you've got the pages here, more great moments. You've got a couple of guys there, just showing the paintings and the artistry. I mean, what beautiful artwork he did. Next page, more great moments. 
we've got Red Sheendienst and George Kell. And again, it's the glare, but guys, I'm telling you, if I get closer, his signatures are just perfect. There's the George Kell. So I love the stadiums in the background and everything. They're just gorgeous. More great moments. There's Billy Williams. Okay, next page. Dick Perez did some oil paintings here during the 80s of just baseball art. Here's Pittsburgh in 1908. Awesome. There's uh, Joe DiMaggio with a gorgeous Joe DiMaggio signature down at the bottom. I mean, this whole page is just a piece of art by itself. It's gorgeous. If I wanted to tear it up, I could open it, you know, tear these pages out and put them individually, but would never do that. Then he did a series called Celebration, which is in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Hall of Fame. And there's 10,000 of each of these cards that were produced. And this is just showing some examples with a couple of autographs. There's Louis Aparicio, Lou Bedrew. Over here, you got Bobby Doerr and Rick Farrell. As a Hall of Fame guy, I can tell you these are all legit. Those are good sigs. More celebrations over here. Ralph Kiner, Eddie Matthews, Johnny Mize, Enos Slaughter, and Warren Spawn. Just amazing. I love how they're just, it's just the art. I mean, it really shows it really well. He's the official artist of the Philadelphia Phillies, or at least he was back then, back during this time. And here's a piece he did for the Phillies with Mike Schmidt and Steve Carlton. Just awesome. Signed gorgeously. Then he did some other stuff for the Phillies. You got a picture of Steve Carlton, then Robin Roberts and Pete Rose signed. And then Richie Ashburn over here. That's his great moments, I think. Beautiful. Moving on. Turn the page carefully. And of course, he's well known for Diamond Kings. So it says over there 236 watercolors that have been reproduced and marketed since 1982 by Leif Donruss as the Diamond Kings. And so this one, this page is signed by Ozzy Smith. Over here, you've got no signatures, but some great players represented. Dave Winfield and Cal Ripken as Hall of Famers. Moving on. And he has some miscellaneous things. Just extra art, other pieces that he's done, just examples of that. Duke Snyder signature, Johnny Bench. I mean, that is just so cool looking. Great picture. Beautiful signature. I mean, what a great piece. And then down at the bottom, a black and white. Looks like a pencil drawing or something. Signed by Dick Allen. From his Philly stuff, obviously. And then there's kind of all the things that just, they just showed there. Yep, the Dick Allen was pencil. He did that in 1976. Unbelievable. So there you go. That's the first piece that I got. Let's move on to piece number two. All right, so next up is this little book. And this is a book that commemorates the celebration set that Perez, Dick Perez painted for the Hall of Fame in honor of their 50th anniversary. And it's just amazing. This one has a total of 33 signatures in it for the different cards that he produced for this set. It says that this is far, far more rare than the actual cards themselves. I've never actually even seen one. I'm sure I have before, but I can't recall ever seeing one of these, and certainly not one with 33 autographs on the inside of it, all Hall of Famers. So this is just perfect for my collection. I mean, like one of those, man, I love this. It just fits awesome. So I'm gonna see what the best way is to show what's inside. Hang on one second.
Okay, so I decided to kind of put the camera down and just kind of show this. I'm gonna open it up. It's, it's bigger than the frame will allow, but I'm gonna kind of tilt it so it'll be easier to see. So here's the front inside front cover. This was published in 1989, and this book evidently came with each of the sets. So this is for set number 7954 out of 10,000. And inside, like when you bought the whole set, you know, and that, but when you get inside, it shows pictures of the different players. These are in alphabetical order, and you can see which ones are autographed. On this one, Hank Aaron, beautiful. Louis Aparicio and Ernie Banks. And you got the cool Papa Bell there as well, with the awesome art in between. What's good about this is the pages themselves are only one page. There's nothing on the other side. So here we've got Johnny Bench, Yogi Berra, and Lou Bedru along with the Roy Campanella. The pages are really thick. Um, on this one, the only signature is Ray Dandridge. <laughs> on this one, we've got, look at that. I mean, that beautiful eagle and uh, American flag. I mean, it's just gorgeous background art in front of the celebration cards with Bobby Doerr and Rick Farrell signatures. Can I see the whole thing? I mean, just gorgeous. Sorry guys, this is awkward only because they're so, so big. Continuing on, you got Monty Irvin, Jim Catfish Hunter, Billy Herman. Next page. Did I miss one? Hold on. Nope. All four on this one are signed. So you've got Al Kaline, George Kell, Harmon Killebrew, Ralph Kiner, that beautiful background art again. It's a beautiful page because it's got all four signed again. Buck Leonard, Bob Lemon, Al Lopez, and that beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous Mickey Mantle signature. Unreal. So, so cool. Next page. Juan Marshall, Johnny Mize, Willie McCovey, and then down here, Eddie Matthews. And this book, the way it is, I mean, it's going to just preserve these autographs, you know, because they're not going to be exposed to the light or to the air or anything. This is going to go in a sealed uh, bag, basically, and I'm just going to preserve it because it's just perfect the way it is. Stan Musial, Pee Wee Reese, Brooks Robinson. I mean, other than showing this off every once in a while, I'm going to hardly ever take this out. All four signed on this page. You've got Enos Slaughter, Duke Snyder, Warren Spawn and Willie Stargell with the awesome painting down below. Baseball in the field in the late 1800s, early 1900s. What a cool depiction. I think this is the last page coming up. Yep. This only has two on it. You've got Billy Williams. And then a beautiful Carl Yastrzemski down there. It'd be cool if Ted Williams had signed this, but so there you go, guys. There's my celebration piece, the other uh, gallery piece, everything. I'm just so thrilled to have these in my collection and add them. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. These are just the kinds of things you can find at auction houses, so I encourage you to do that and go look for that kind of stuff. I think you'll really be surprised at the amazing things you can find. And that's really what you don't find this stuff on eBay, really. Uh, you got to go hunt for it and look for it. So thrilled to add this stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Everybody have a great day and keep collecting.